During my doctoral research, I worked on new techniques to calibrate reservoir numerical models. A reservoir model is used to describe how fluids flow in porous media and how parameters such as pressure, temperature, and saturation affect their behavior. Geological, geophysical, petrophysical, and many other kinds of data are used to build a numerical model. The problem is that often this data only provides discrete measurements and different interpretations are possible. A numerical model can be used to predict the future reservoir performance and based on different scenarios, select the optimal way to produce hydrocarbons cost efficiently while leaving less oil behind. But wait, we need to be sure that a numerical model is representative of the real reservoir. So we need to compare the real reservoir's historical production data with the simulated production data. Engineers need to change reservoir parameters using trial and error until a match is found, using their experience, knowledge, and good judgment. But this can be a very time-consuming and often frustrating task. And at the very end, we only get one calibrated model. So the question is this, is there a more efficient way to do this? In my research, I use different optimization algorithms to obtain not one, but several calibrated models in a fraction of the time required for a manual match. Evolution strategy is an optimization technique based on ideas of adaptation and evolution. A population of reservoir models with different properties is created, with stronger models having a better chance to participate in the recombination process. The fitness of the model is a mathematical measure of how well the given model matches the historical production data. During the recombination process, individuals exchange properties and mutations can occur. If a mutation leads to a better individual, the mutation is likely to pass to future generations. If not, then it is eliminated by natural selection. At the end of the evolution process, a set of calibrated models is obtained and they can be used to predict future production performance. However, at each iteration, every individual needs to be processed by the computer, which is required to solve a large number of complex equations and ill-conditioned matrices, and this takes a very long time. To deal with this, I coded a system that efficiently distributes the simulation runs among computers all around the world, taking advantage of their idle time. I also used an ensemble Kalman filter for the calibration of different facies realizations conditioning the channel distribution to production data. This closes the loop between static and dynamic data, reducing model uncertainty, and leads to a more efficient exploitation of hydrocarbon systems.